Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Nitrogen OS based on Android 10 for Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi Note uh, Redmi 5 Plus, which is codenamed as Wins with a single camera. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, starting with the home screen, we get this the Nexus default wallpaper, and I really like it. Also, the apps were all USB apps. I installed the Flame GF full, so it has been replaced into the Google Apps. Then you can see Android version 10, 5 February 2020, second batch. Google Play System at 10 and we have the Dark Ages Decimo Kernel with the 4.9.211 tag. So guys in the system option we get this Nitrogenous logo. You can see it looks really great. The greenish color, the bluish green color, I don't know what color. And we have all the normal options here, the system options present, the cashiers, keyboard settings and the date and time and all that stuff. Developer options too, pre -enabled. We get the normal Google camera, you can see as the default camera and yeah, I can see the like really uh, normal version of the camera so yeah you can install gcam um yeah i don't know why this green images but yeah it's just for some time and i don't know why the camera stopped so you can install gcam to have the camera fully work or just install open cam or you will face these issues with the camera yeah you can see this one is black and white i don't know why wow and the camera stops you can see it freezes after a picture so this one is black and white this is the old picture i don't know why it does but yeah for the camera you can use gcam or open now camera. let's take a look at the nitrogenous personalization so first you can see this is the options let's move into status bar these are the options status bar network traffic quick settings we have brightness slider brightness slide on bottom buttons we have volume rockers option and navigation bar we have invert layout Gestures, we have screen power off button dodge working fine. Then we have status by lock screen, double tap to sleep. Then lock screen, we have media cover art, fingerprint authentication, vibration, and lock screen charging and lock screen shortcuts. Notification, we have these stuff vibrate and connect, vibrations, in call vibrations, heads up, uh, one notification, and battery charging light. Power menu, you can enable advanced restart, screenshots, uh, screen record and in miscellaneous we have wake up on charge so not a lot of customizations really really uh, minimum amount of customizations are present and also into the styles and wallpapers thing is also absent from here you can see wallpapers and the styling the icon styling and all is absent so yep uh, let's search accent and you can see there is no okay accent color is in uh, okay so you can see theming is in uh, developer options so you can choose the accent color from this headline body font just one noto serif source sans pro is present and icon shape so these options are in the developer options with the last theming and yeah not a lot of options are present it's pure aosp uh, with a lot of uh, like more uh, effort towards the improvements of battery and performance not much towards customization also the framework is not customized that much so yeah it's pure and it's really nice uh, feels great for gaming so one of the great uh, great roms for gaming also mine is a 3gb ram variant so i can't even game properly but yeah you can actually game on the 4gb ram variant it's not about the ram it's about gpu actually but still ram improves the speed and also yeah multitasking and all will be better on the 4 gb ram variant at 3 gb one so yeah that is for the performance battery is really great i get uh, 70 to 80 percent deep sleep and yeah great for a day usage and you can also flash custom kernels uh the gun is invisible kernel and other kernels you if you want so yeah that's about the battery and all and uh yep that sums up the review that's it, uh, nothing else to be seen in this ROM, it's really great ROM, clean ROM. So if you want a cleaner ROM, you don't like just walk away from the customizations, you are tired from the customizing the ROM and just want to use a pure one, you can just give it a try and really great. Also it has Nitrogen OS OT updates, it's in about 4, you can see Nitrogen OS OT updates and yeah I'm the latest update. And actually I tried to update from the older one, the 31st to 4th, I just tried how the OTA works uh, normally. And when it was about to download, it got uh, like uh, unsuccessful. So if you are facing the same issues, you can report it on the XTA thread on, on the Telegram channel where the developer is in the group. So 
yep that's it i hope to see you guys in my next video and before that please press the like button if you like this video and not uh, uh press the dislike button if not uh bye bye and please subscribe guys bye bye